You might have heard that registration for the Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse is open. And if you still have questions about what it is and what you need to do, then stay tuned. That's what this video is all about. If you're a truck driver, owner operator, and especially if you're a trucking company owner, it's important to know the basics of the clearinghouse. So let's get started. The first question you probably have is, what is the clearinghouse? The Clearinghouse is a secure online database created by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, also known as FMCSA. It was created to give these people real-time information about drug and alcohol program violations for commercial driver's license and learner's permit holders. There has never been a clear way to see drug and alcohol test records and the violation from state to state. That's because each state has their own reporting process. That's why the Clearinghouse was created. Now, drug and alcohol test results, including test refusals for all CDL and CLP holders, can be accessible in one location. If you're a truck driver, you might think you don't need to know about the clearinghouse, but that's not true. If you're one of these people, then you're going to have to register in the clearinghouse. If you're wondering how much it's going to cost, the good news is that registration and submissions are free. Registration is now open, so you can go register today at this website. Trucking company owners, owner operators, and drug and alcohol consortiums are going to have to pay for inquiries. The query is an electronic check verifying if current or prospective employees are prohibited from operating due to unresolved drug and alcohol program violations. The cost per query is $1.25. There are query bundles available, making the cost per query cheaper, but those prices are going to vary. The FMCSA suggests you choose a bundle that includes enough queries for each driver you employ. You can also purchase additional plans that, and they don't expire. It's a great idea to register now because the mandatory use of the clearinghouse goes into effect on January 6, 2020. Employers will be required to report certain drug and alcohol program violations and can start conducting queries. So remember, manual inquiries with previous employers covering the last three years are still required. For now, you'll use the Clearinghouse and State Drug and Alcohol Violation Reporting Agencies. In three years, on January 6, 2023, the CDL Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse will officially be the only remaining database. So there's your quick Clearinghouse rundown. I didn't cover everything you need to know, just the basics. If you want more detailed information, the FAQ page on the FMCSA website is a great resource, and you can also check out our blog to learn more. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you'll get notified when we post our next video. We'll see you on the next one.